You too. Kick. My name is Trey. Welcome to Working Out Chains. Stephen A. talks about how his job could be next. Let's just hop right into it. We ain't going to waste no time. You know how it is. But if we're going to be real about it, let's deal with reality. This ain't the end. More is coming. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I could be next. Let me tell y'all something. One thing I want to say right quickly, you need to go watch the whole video on this. Uh, pretty much what leads him to say this is that everybody has a bottom line. And due to COVID and due to the riots, uh, not riots, due to the protests and people not wanting to do stuff, Disney has lost a ton of money. I think they said somewhere between five to eight billion dollars. I believe it's five point eight billion. Um, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure the number goes up and down, you know, depending on what source you're looking at. But I believe it's somewhere between five or it's like five one five point one. Let's just say five to six billion dollars they lost, right? And because of that, there was layoffs. Amazon had layoffs as well. Netflix also had net layoffs. So it's not just them. But like I am telling you had layoffs, okay? We are seeing what happens when people decide to choose one side of the political road or the other. Disney did it, right? We've seen that with a lot of the movies they've chosen to go with, and they're losing a lot of money in the box office, and they lost a lot of money due to COVID because people couldn't go to the parks. Same thing happened with Netflix when they decided to go a little bit of political. And then Amazon, I'm not quite sure, honestly, what was going on with them and why they're having to lay off so many people. But at the end of the day, when the bottom line gets affected, people are going to lose their jobs. And so... The biggest thing really isn't that uh, Stephen A. is saying that he's next. Let's get into the the meat and uh, thing of it. The meat and... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Meat and potatoes. That's what I meant to say. People are bothered because Malika Andrews has not been fired. Well, not fired. These guys didn't get fired. They got laid off. Completely different. That means there was cuts. Inevitable. And the reason people have a problem with Malika Andrews is because it seems like Malika Andrews, any chance she gets, she tends to go against a black man. And from what I think she's dating, she's dating a white guy. Uh, I think it's David McMenamin. I don't know that for sure. I don't really look into that thing. So I don't really don't care. But to be honest with you, people think that Malika is always trying to bring down the black man. And I have to say this. I don't think Malika is a great analyst. That's just me personally. I think she can do great at her job, but I do think she just gets a little bit too personal. And she does do those little snippy things towards men. And I feel like she does have a small disdain for men. I don't think she's an idiot. And I don't think it's, I'm not saying she shouldn't be on TV, but I do think there's some therapy or something that needs to be done with her. Cause you can just read her mannerism and see that she seems sometimes tends to go after the men and she takes things a little bit more personal than she should. Um, and it feels like she's more on the side of women than being equal. That's just my opinion. I don't know. Now that she deserved to be cut, man, I don't know what goes up behind those contracts and money and all that kind of stuff. I really don't know. So I can't say if she deserves, because I don't know if she's making, if she's not making that much money so they can afford to keep her, you know, compared to like a, a, a Max Kellerman or a Jalen Rose or stuff like that. I don't really know. I really don't understand the money behind that. Um, it may be because ESPN does want a woman like her to talk the way she does about bringing up the stuff about black men and stuff like that. I have no idea. I truly do not. Um, but here's what I will say for this, as far as all the layoffs go, and if Stephen Smith is coming down the pipeline. Stephen Smith mentions in this entire uh, interview, interview, Stephen A. Smith mentions in this podcast that Pat McAfee, right, he got hired on by ESPN. Stephen A. Smith goes on to say, Pat McAfee was not hired by ESPN. The Pat McAfee show was acquired by ESPN. So his whole basis was the reason Pat McAfee is with ESPN now is because he not he built himself up into a product. A product. So when you're you're not necessarily acquiring Pat McAfee, you're taking his show and putting it on ESPN, making it an ESPN thing. And he goes on to say that that's his goal, that's his aspirations is to become a product. So really you don't become so expendable, right? Because if you're not a product of your stuff, you have to, if you're not a product, that means if you get fired, you're gone and you're just gone forever, right? 
unless somebody decides to hire you. But when he's saying, like he has a Stephen A. Smith show, he's saying if he can build that into a product, that it's much easier for him not to have to worry about getting cut or getting fired or getting any of this kind of stuff. And I would have to agree. Even I think about the way I show myself. You saw me, guys, and even now, as we're making this video, I'm bothered by that light behind me. I care about the product that I put up here. When you first started seeing me making these videos, I had bongs. You see where my laptop is behind me now? Those were bongs, all right? Bongs sitting there for me smoking. That's not a product I decided that I wanted to keep up with. When I first started making videos, I had a mic. A mic. When I started making like shows like this, I had a mic, right, that was sorting in and out. It would sound something like this when I would speak. I just, I just, I just, I just, and I just, uh, I truly really, I mean, it sounded terrible. Some days it would sound perfect, but if I didn't have a certain software going, and sometimes it would just disable itself, my mic went kaput. <laughs> I don't know why I use that word, but nonetheless, I, I, I knew I had to start making that change. I used to wear do rags and stuff. That's before, way before y'all's time. Y'all never probably saw that, but I used to wear do rags and stuff in here, but I decided to be better. I normally keep my hair cut. Not perfect. I don't have the perfect hairline, but I keep my hair cut. I keep my beard, uh, brushed out. I brush my hair. I put lotion on. Even though these things look foolish. And I always, if you always notice, I almost always wear some type of collared shirt, even though I can't afford suits and ties. I do try to look somewhat nice. I've moved the camera in to where you can't see my big old fat belly down here. Not that I'm ashamed of my belly because I am losing weight, but I don't like to put my belly up on here because it doesn't look professional. It's better to, you know, it's better to have it look nice and even because the way my belly looks, it may look like I'm slouching the whole time, even though I'm not trying to. I think all that stuff comes into play when it comes to presenting a product. Now, what does that have to do with all these ESPN fires? My point is to say that these people, right, if they were really a product and a true product within themselves, they'll get a job somewhere else because somebody's going to want them. It's just like Tucker Carlson. When he got fired from Fox, do you think people wouldn't have paid him millions to have him on the show? Because with Tucker Carlson comes a product that can be put on TV and people will sit down and listen. I still think Stephen A. says he's not a product. To me personally, he is. Stephen A. has already got 200 and something thousand subscribers and he's only been doing this for not very long. He is a product. When you think about Steve, it's always, you never, you never, nobody ever calls him Stephen. Nobody ever calls him Smith or Mr. Smith. It's always Stephen A. Smith. That to me is a product. You always have to say his name together because that's who he has created himself to be. Whether you hate him or like him, I do think he is a great product. I don't know, though, because I'm not in that business once again. The ESPN firings and Malika Andrews and all this kind of stuff, man, it's just a part of the business. I think Malika didn't get fired because I don't think she makes as much as the rest of the people do. They can afford to keep her, but I don't know that. But as far as everybody else getting fired, I don't think it's because they sucked at their job. It just happened to be a layoff. Somebody had to go. Now, if some people are mad that Stephen A. Smith didn't get fired. And here's my last point. Once again, the reason Stephen A. and he may he may get cut. Who knows? We never know. I think it wouldn't make sense for ESPN to drop Stephen A. Because once again, he is a product. You take Stephen A. off of ESPN, your ratings are going to go down. They're going to tank. Bad. Because as much as people may say they don't like Stephen A. and the show is better without him, I don't think most people want to watch the show with J.J. Reddick and Kendrick Perkins. They don't. They might like it, but it's not going to be a very good show because they don't have the same bravado that comes with Stephen A. Smith. Kendrick is a great person. Kendrick makes great makes great content, but him and J.J. Reddick leading a debate show to me would be boring because J.J. Reddick, the way he argues, is going to bring up stats, and it's pretty much dead after that. You know, you kind of want somebody who kind of is foolish sometimes when they do stuff. You want somebody who's kind of overly over the top, like they're your Skip Baylesses. Nobody likes Skip Bayless really like that. But so you got to be honest. You know he loves doing his job. He's obsessed, and he's going to show up every day, give you the same energy every day. You can't hate on that. That's entertainment. To get if I if I was to be on a debate show, and every time I get up there, I'm like, we well, here are the stats. Uh, LeBron James has hit this many game winners. Michael Jordan has hit this many game winners. Kobe Bryant has hit this many game winners. In a discussion. 
it, that's boring. You want somebody to get up there and be like, LeBron, okay, does not know what he's doing. Okay, he cannot be Michael because he ain't got that killer in him. You want somebody to say obscene, stupid stuff like that because it's entertaining. And you want people who truly believe what they're saying. And I think Stephen A. truly believes what he's saying, even when he's bringing up blacks, he's bringing up race, and all that stuff. And even Malika Andrews, even though you may disagree with her, I think she truly believes what she's saying. And she does bring that little bit of tension because people disagree with her. And people love that on TV shows. Let's just be honest with ourselves. So at the end of the day, it is a business. At the end of the day, yes, some people got let go. But people like Stephen A. and honestly Malika Andrews, I don't think those people are going anywhere because they do have a product that they bring and they do bring a certain audience. Even if those people hate them, it doesn't matter. Bad publicity is publicity nonetheless. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think about building yourself, building a product. Or, you know, if you're not even in this kind of line of business, if you're just a person who just goes to your nine to five every day, do you think it's important how you present yourself to where you're least likely to get fired? I'll say this one last thing. That white light in the back is really bothering me. It is completely white. I'm going to have to move that light a little bit more to the left so it's not shining directly on that sheet because you can't see anything back there because of this white mic in that light. is just drowning it out. It's bothering the heck out of me. Uh, but that's... When I was a uh, when I was working for an insurance company back in the day, one of the things I went in there saying to myself is I told myself if they ever fire me or let me go, it will never be because I was not I didn't work hard enough. If they let me go, it's going to be because there's layoffs, and or something crazy happened or I got promoted. But I will. Not, I made sure to myself I said I will never get fired from a job again because of my poor worth ethic. And I did have a poor worth ethic. And I got fired because of that poor worth ethic one time. Wasn't necessarily my fault, but nonetheless, I got fired. Um, and I told myself, well, I'm going to do, I'm going to be the best thing employee the next time I got a job. And I did. I was the number one agent the entire time I worked for that company. And then I went from being that number one agent I went over to being a salesman. Was it number one? But I was top five. And then I went again to it. Well, I was I was number one in a certain specific category. But overall, I think I was somewhere in the top five. And then I was top five again as a salesman again at another company. So I went from being number one to top five to top five. Because I told myself, when you hear my name, when you say Trey, you're not going to say terrible employee. You're going to say, oh, that's that's a hard worker right there. He puts in the grind. Do the same thing in your own life. That doesn't mean you're never going to get laid off. That doesn't mean you're going to get cut. But what it does mean is when you do get let go or something like this happens, you'll have somewhere to go. Okay? You'll have somewhere to go. Somebody will want you because your skills and your ability will get you a lot of places in this life. Never be lazy, man. Don't be a sloth. Always try to grind. That's it. Let me know what y'all think. I know I didn't go too deep into the Malika Andrews thing, but I gave my opinion on it, and I've given my overall opinion on the ESPN firings. It's a business at the end of the day. I, ho I wish the best for all these people, um, and I hope they can all get jobs, or they go on to do their own thing, or they just let it all go, and they say, you know what, I'm just going to spend time with my family for the rest of my life because I made millions. So y'all let me know what y'all think about these ESPN firings. Let me know what y'all think about the... Uh, uh, the whole Malika thing. And let me know what you think about Stephen A. Smith. I'm out of here. Peace.